Hi, I'm Sherry Rail with the Up and Up podcast. We're here sponsored by the Kokomo Post, and we're going to be talking about organizations in our community that are making a difference in lives. And today we have Shelby here to talk a little bit about Turning Point. Welcome, Shelby. Hi, how are you? Oh my goodness, it is so good to see you. I am so excited to talk about Turning Point and what is it that somebody would come to Turning Point about and and what do you guys do over there? Well, um, Turning Point is amazing. Uh, it was a starting point for me in my recovery. Mm -hmm. um, that's really what I would call it is a starting point for not just addicts, but um, loved ones of addicts and um, people who struggle with mental health. Mm. Um, we help a wide variety of people. I think that's a great um, segue into what we're going to talk about today as far as um, nonprofits and organizations that are helping the community. Um, how do you guys measure the impact of what you're doing? Um, I mean, what's your success rate? Um, I say it's huge. Um, mm -hmm. Many of my friends and family members uh, started, you know, at the lowest possible point, um, living on the streets, um, hotels in their cars. Unfortunately, a lot of people are still going through that. So when we have the festivals and stuff at Foster Park in the summer and, and the get togethers, the, the sober functions, yes. we get to see so many success stories. We get to see so many people happy. And it's those same people that came in, you know, at their lowest point, hungry, starving, just, just really rock bottom. And we get to see them on the other side at the top of the mountain. So I think that is so impressive to hear you talk about that because um, people who are on probation are really in the system and their ability to function and do anything outside of that is is not the norm. And so uh, some uh, tell me about some of the biggest challenges. Well, definitely um, homelessness is one of the big, biggest challenges. Uh, we have a lot of homeless people, um, but Kokomo is really up and coming when it comes to resources. Mm -hmm. um, Turning Point, we, we have a lot and um, that's just constantly growing. Um, we are constantly reaching out to other communities to, to get that, uh, just, just to make us all a big community. Yes. Um, so the biggest challenge uh, in home, people on probation, drug court, problem solving courts, they are very limited as to what they can do. And thankfully probation and DCS and, and other things like that, they have been coming to Turning Point meeting with us um, so we can kind of explain what we are to them. Mm -hmm. uh, not looking at each other as enemies, but, but as as um, a team, you know, mm -hmm. we're all here for the same reason, trying to help people, trying to better people. So Turning Point really gives gives a place for people to go and get those get those recovery meetings and um, but but incorporate a lot of fun with it, too. And it's to the point now where um, we see probation. They came they come in and um, check out the recovery cafe and yes. everything, too. So I'm really excited about what you said there, because with um, folks that are in the community, I think sometimes it's about going and touring the facility seeing what that organization truly has. Um, and with Turning Point, I found it amazing, um, the different infrastructures that you have inside. Mm -hmm. What's some of the needs of your organization? Um, how do you engage your donors, your volunteers, those kinds of things? Um, so, like I said, Turning Point is up and coming, just like Kokomo. So. We, we have way more than what we did before. We, we started in a, a little tiny room, literally with like a navigator and, and, and cherry. So <laughs> that's how it started. And it's huge now, you know, um, we have an area where the peer coaches are. We have a, a giant area where the recovery cafe is, and that consists of many other small meetings and, and groups. And then um, we have navigation and therapy, two separate areas. Um, and in the back of the unit is the um, stabilization unit. Mm -hmm. 
Um, that is a, a different place all in itself, but it is still in the same building. Mm -hmm. So yeah. a lot of times we have people who complete the detox program and they are able to literally just walk right to the other side and get set up with outpatient services. Um, that way, you know, they are in the community that they're living in and, and they can just get get set up with that immediately. I was 97 pounds homeless. Um, in, in heavy addiction, you know, and uh, I actually um, conceived a child um, directly after I started really using really hard drugs, you know, and uh, Paul Wyman reached out to me and told me about Turning Point. Um, and, you know, I heard about this place a couple of times and then finally I got a hold of Sherry and Sherry <laughs> really, really worked really hard on me. So she was able to connect me with the Choice Program um, fresh start. Um, and the choice program is for pregnant addicted mothers, you know, um, and they, they put you in a hospital where you safely wean off the drugs, you know, and then fresh start and, and volunteers of America and all these places, like all kinds of places. <laughs> um, eventually, you know, I went through my pregnancy. I still struggled. I struggled my whole pregnancy. My sobriety day is actually my son's birthday. Um, and he is perfect and amazing and healthy. He is. He is. Um, I still struggled with a little bit um, because I was homeless, you know, and I just it's it takes everyone takes their own time, you know, um, and I don't know why it took me that long, but it did. So the domestic violence shelter, open arms, water garden, mm -hmm. all of these places in home probation, family recovery court, DCS, all of these places. I would not have known about any of them if it wasn't for Turning Point and Sherry. Like, honestly, honest to God, like, that is my story. It's Turning Point. And now I work there, so it's crazy. But, yeah, that, so I just wanted to, like, say thank you for that and get a little bit into what navigation is. And I describe it in a, a little brief little saying, and I say, um, we help you navigate your own unique recovery path. Um, yes. I am here to support you on whatever you want to do. Don't listen to anyone else. I mean, take advice, but but what you want to do is what you're going to do. That's so right. whatever you decide that that is, I am here to help you do that and, and to support you doing that. So and really like everything that I know and everything is like all because of Sherry. So like <laughs> seriously, she took the advice. Yeah, I did. And you gained your recovery. Yeah, I, I did. And we have a beautiful little boy. Yeah. <laughs> Five beautiful babies. I got them back. So uh, I I have a question about what else does Turning Point need, Shelby, to continue to do the good work that you guys are doing? Okay. Um, I definitely think that Turning Point, we can always use food um, for the recovery cafe, for our stabilization unit. Um, clients are back there 24-7, so so they they would definitely need food. Um, always arts and crafts, uh, mm -hmm. pencils paper, um, journals, agenda books, that type of stuff for our clients. Um, specifically for the detox unit, we, we always need clothes. Um, you can bring clothes Ooh. donations, yeah. shoes, bags. I run into a lot of problems with, I'm about to send somebody to treatment and they don't have anything to put their belongings in. Mm. Uh, so tote bags, you know, if you have old backpacks, we, we would love Ooh, that's any good. type of donation yes. like that. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, I understand that you have a short term and a long term um, piece yes. to your stabilization unit. Right. So the the short term that is the um, the normal type of detox unit, mm -hmm. um, average week stay, um, and that is like our tier one. So now we are we're kind of we're we're testing it out, <laughs> and we actually just had our first recovery complete the 28 day program. So that's Woo! our long term stay. Yeah. And, and he is thriving and it's just amazing because in our our long term stays, they are staying for 28 days. Um, wow. Yes. 28 days here in Kokomo. Here in Kokomo. Huh. They are staying Woo. for 28 days and they are in the detox unit. But for all of those things I mentioned before, our rap classes, smart recovery, recovery cafe, they all are assigned peer coaches. So they are able to, to form that relationship and that trust mm. with, with the whole other side of turning point while they're still in the detox unit. 
Um, so all of the services we offer on the other side of Turning Point are being offered to the to the recoveries in the stabilization unit. I think that is amazing. How do they reach out and get a hold of you guys? Well, um, Turning Point is located at um, 1234 North Cortland Avenue. It is the old Columbian school. And um, you can get on our website at turningpointsoc.org. Mm-hmm. And the phone number is 765-860-8365. Awesome. And reach out if you need help. Uh, they are ready to serve your needs. I hope you all will realize what a resource you have in this organization. And this is the reason why we wanted to come on and have community connections to where you can get hooked up with the right connection to be able to make a difference in your life. Thank you for listening to Up and Up. The episode is funded by the Community Foundation of Howard County. Special thanks to the Hunt Family Fund, which was used to fund this grant. And now back to the Up and Up podcast. Welcome back to this segment of the Up and Up podcast. We're going to talk a little bit about the UP program. Unlimited potential is what the UP program is all about. And really, our mission is to educate uh, youth in Howard County about work ethics, life skills, and then assist them in their education through tutoring and other ways that we can help them so that they can become that self-reliant adult. Uh, Really, we do this through the four R's, the I am uh, respectful, I am responsible, I am reliable, I am ready. And there's a whole creed that goes along with that. We're located at 1701 South Lock Street. It's a three-story old church building, and I'm telling you, we're filling it up. Um, I think we had about 101 in the huddle yesterday evening, and uh, today I have our guest here, and I'm going to let him introduce himself and tell how old he is and where he goes to school. Hi, my name is Terry I'm a 17-year-old, and I go to Kokomo High School. Awesome. And are you graduating this year? Next year. Next year. next year. Okay. So you got one more year with us. One Woo! More. Awesome. How long have you been with the Unlimited Potential Program? I've been around for about four or five years on and off. Awesome. What attracted you to the UP program? Seeing what it can do for kids my age or kids younger, about the amount of potential that it gives us. It tells us not to be in the streets and come be able to do something with our lives. And hanging out in the building, what's that like? Oh, it's awesome. You know, we have a basketball rim, weights, music rooms, all type of games, be with your friends, and just enjoy it. Mm-hmm. And a lot of times it's just open and uh, you're able to hang out and have a good time, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, I was going to say, tell me a little bit about what your learning has been through some of the program and even with some of our mentors. Yeah. Um, the learning experience has been great. It's been teaching me a lot and a lot of other uh, members in the um, our program. Teach us how to be responsible, be ready, be reliable, and just be respectful to others. Very good. I was going to ask you, do you feel that there's been any development within yourself personally through what we teach there at Kokomo Urban Outreach? Yes, I've developed a lot. Um, it taught me how to just be better, Uh, be ready for everything, be reliable, have people trust me, like be let another person be able to say that I trust him. He's good. Always be ready. Be ready to work. Be ready in school. Be ready at home. Just always be ready. So when you have the huddle, tell me what that is. The huddle. I mean, what's the big deal about a huddle? (laughs) The huddle is very important. Um, we usually have Kareem come. He give us a talk. We just talk about a topic for today, all type of topics. Um, what do we want to be in life? What inspires us? Mm. Like, what do we like to do? That, those are some big questions. Yeah. And, you know, I, I guess, does he just talk at you and, no. and that's it? No. He talks to us. He asks for responses. Make sure you participate. Um, so don't just be there. Just 
there. How have you participated in those huddles? I mean, how does he get you guys to participate? Because, you know, I don't know about you, but it seems like youth don't like to participate too much. Am I saying something wrong there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, he usually gives us a topic, and then he go around passing the mic, and everybody gets to voice their opinion and how they feel about it. Wow. So they have to, like, stand up? They, they have to. It's, and it's they have to give an answer? <laughs> yes, yeah, be comfortably inside the mic. Ooh, that's pretty uncomfortable if you're brand new. How'd you feel? My first time back, I was very nervous. <laughs> I can only imagine, yeah. really. What do you, uh, you, you said the money is really a big deal. Tell me a little bit about this money thing. I mean, it's also a feeling when you know that you work to earn that money. And then when you finally get the cash out and get to spend it on whatever you want to, it's, it's awesome. <laughs> what have you bought with some of your phones? Um, I bought bikes, and now I'm currently saving up to buy a car. Whoa, dude, a car? Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. I am excited for you. Tell me some of the most enjoyable times that you've had at Kokomo Urban Outreach with the UP program. Um, a lot of the times, it's always fun just being around in the building, but some of the best experiences are on the work sites. It's, it's, it's a lot of work, but... No, it's always working fun. It's just great. <laughs> I love that. I was going to say, um, there's a lot of food at Kokomo Urban Outreach, too. <laughs> like, y'all yeah. uh, like to eat. We do. And uh, so, uh, do you get a hot meal here and there? Yes, yes. That's awesome. Work nights or huddles. They provide mm -hmm. food. That's cool. Uh, I don't know about you, but I think teens like to, you know get their food on, you <laughs> yeah. know, yeah, um, so. I'm kind of a foodie myself. So, uh, tell me, um, one of the biggest things that you've learned and, and really took away from your experience at Kokomo urban outreach. The biggest thing I learned is just be ready. Hey, just be ready for whatever. So you said one of the question was, what do you want to be when you grow up? Uh, what's Terry on want to do? Right now at Kokomo High School, I have a culinary class. So I'm really on a pathway to be a chef. Oh my gosh, you are a foodie. <laughs> this is great. Yes. I'm so excited. I want to come and try some of your uh, culinary uh, expertise, if you will. <laughs> um, I'm pretty excited, as you can tell, about Kokomo Urban Outreach and what happens with inside our organization um, with the reward of points um and tell me how points are rewarded and what you can kind of do with those points with inside kokomo urban outreach uh, so for huddle nights the points five dollars work days um they're 20 points um sometimes we have this thing called the home progress report mm -hmm. get up to 10 points not guaranteed uh, but you know we could get those points we can cash out in 50 dollar increments or we have the store available which we can spend points there yeah, and I think that's really um, essential because when people are going out to work, you know, the steel-toed boots, um, you know, getting some new tinnies, um, you know, just uh, the things in general that you need. Um, you've been able to get hygiene, food, you know, all the necessities of life right there inside Kokomo Urban Outreach with the points that you're accumulating. I hear that they have a pretty good savings thing that comes along with that. Like there's an incentive yeah. to save and budget your money. What's that all about? Um, when you save up to your first 500 points and you decide to cash out, they'll give you another 100 bucks. Woo. So that kind of incentivizes like saving for a car or something big <laughs> like mm -hmm. that, like you are doing. Yes. So I'm excited about that, Terry on. So thank you so much for coming on the show and sharing your experience. I don't know about you, but if you've got teens, if you've got children that you feel need help, we're here for you. Uh, we're always looking for people to step up and sponsor one of our youth and help them out so uh, that we can make sure that they get the cash that they need to become that self-reliant adult. Thank you very much for joining us on the Up and Up podcast.